when I first read this script for Entreat, um, I almost got lost in the fact that it was almost two movies in one with the concept of having um, a movie play out within another. Um, I've never done a romantic comedy, well, not even so much a romantic comedy, but I've never done something like this before that required me to uh, dig deep into um, pulling from where my character was coming from and the overarching story. Um, what you'll notice with Entreat is that there's so many things going on with each of the characters, but somehow everybody finds themselves pulled together by it. It's like a tree with several branches. Um, so when I found out that uh, I had gotten a, a role in the movie, I was super ecstatic. Um, it was going to be probably, I think, maybe my second or third. Yeah, by the time this comes out, it will be my third um, major movie out here. So it was a great opportunity. And then looking at the cast of people that was going to be on this project as well. Um, I'm with, I'm alongside heavyweights who have done so many amazing projects and films and series in Nigeria. So it's nice to uh, see how they work and also get the opportunity to lend my talent to that. Um, Michael is somebody who has really, 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 really big ideas. Um, he's, his thought processes aren't like any other normal person. Um, he thinks grand and at all times and whether or not you like it or Michael likes it as big as it's as it is in his head is how big he's going to make something um, out to be and treats mm -hmm. has been a long time coming and we've had our various challenges but despite that uh, despite how much time and effort has gone into it he's made sure that it's exactly what it is that he pictured in his mind he made sure that he waited to get the kind of cast members he wanted to get people were busy traveling up and down but Michael was adamant that he was going to get the names that he wanted. So um, I think he did a great job as a director, um, as an executive producer, as a writer. Um, it's not oftentimes that you'll find somebody encompass all of those positions because it, it takes a lot of work to not only sit and script something and then go and source the money to do that thing and on top of that not hand over the responsibilities of directing and doing all of that yourself. It must mean that you have totally seen the vision of this that, of this story 100% in your head and there's no other way it could have been done without him. Um, I think it's very difficult for one person to play all of those major roles. At some point you could see the stresses and the toll that it took on him having to do all of those things by himself um, but like I said Michael thinks big and whatever Michael wants to do is what he's going to do whether or not it's gonna make him sick it's going to take extra time he'll do it um, and I think he did he did a pretty good job on this one um, my understanding behind the concept is that um, love has especially for my character anyway Love has the ability to heal and um, change things and conquer all. Um, I think love is one of the, um, the, 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 the fine natures that is woven into each and every single one of these stories. Um, and if you draw on that, you'll literally see how it has the ability to change people's circumstances. Uh, for my character, Linda, she was, you know, going about her merry way and waiting for, for this man that she desired to notice her. Um, whereas this man didn't believe that he was going to love again. Um, and the moment that he did and, and, and gave his love to her and she, and she gave him hers, uh, they, they turned into this divine union and this ideal family and um, created a happy ending that we all want so bad, um, but sometimes it's very difficult to get. So th that is one of the, um, uh, I think, one of the, the strong elements that the movie pushes forward. Um, working, there were a few cast members that I know and um, I've had the pleasure of working with before, the likes of uh, Eku Edoa, Stephanie Koka, um, gosh, and then the people that I hadn't worked with before were like uh, Brian Okbara, um, uh, Osas, uh, Ajibade. Um, so it was nice to be on this set where 
um, you get to watch your fellow colleagues do their thing. You get to watch what makes them tick. Um, and it's not easy to pull together some of these big names in one spot uh, and have a stellar cast like this because you're working with different schedules and, and time frames and um, commitments. So um, it, was, it was a pleasure to do so. When you're looking at somebody else who has chosen to take a role in, a, uh, in the same movie as you, especially some of the names that I mentioned, you know that you've made the right decision. So me saying yes to this and looking at the cast members, I knew that, okay, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm on the right set. If they think it's a good idea to be here, then I, I probably made a good decision. I play the role of Linda and she's a, a pleasant school teacher um, who is just riding the waves of life. Uh, she's taking care of her mother and doing all the right things and being patient and there is this man that she has been slowly um, falling in love with or at least uh, hoping that she will eventually catch his eye. And she, th th there's nothing that she can do to make that happen uh, because he's not in the same space mentally with her. Uh, he uh, lost his wife and is taking care of his child and um, trying to form a new relationship isn't isn't really what's on his mind and and then there's this um earthy individual she she is a poet at heart and um she almost gets to the point where she's considering quitting and and no longer waiting for this person to come around but then he he comes around at the right point so um towards the end the wait is worth it and um, I can't tell you any more than that because you have to watch the movie, so. Um, I think visually you should expect a very, an extremely well shot um, product um, uh, with the, the likes of Stanley Ohikwari who was behind the cameras and his team. Um, I've worked with Stanley before and their, their pictures are always, um, uh, they, they, they reflect the, the essence of the storytelling. Um, so you'll definitely see that. You'll, you'll love the story. Um, you'll find characters that if you can't relate with personally, you'll know somebody who can relate with that person. Um, you know, they'll become, the characters will become your friends. You'll find yourself literally gisting in the cinema and like, you know, pointing to the screen and saying this person should do this or how, how can he do that to her? Um, so it's, it's relatable. Um, and it's, there are a few comical things here and there, things that will make you chuckle, but it's a heartwarming, uh, family-friendly, enjoyable movie. It's, it's, that, it's a good film. It's that simple.